As we all know, the GPS navigation system in the United States has been commercialized very early and has achieved quite good results throughout the world. Therefore, for a long time in the past, the US GPS navigation system has been a well deserved industry leader in the field of global navigation systems. For the United States, they are very willing to achieve hegemony by taking the lead in a certain field. So, by virtue of its lead in navigation systems, the United States often cuts off other countries' signals. China, of course, is one of them. In order to get rid of this situation, China has been developing its own satellite navigation system since 1994. In 2000, the domestic satellite navigation system Beidou Navigation System came into being. It is undeniable that at the beginning of the Beidou Navigation System, there was a big gap compared with the GPS. However, after decades of investment in research and development, China's satellite navigation system has now begun to overtake the United States, and GPS has also ushered in its biggest competitor, the Beidou Navigation System. So, how big is the gap between Beidou and GPS today? In addition to being used in the military, Beidou system, as the biggest aerospace program that China has ever undertaken, what other applications can it have in life? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. At first, let me tell you a set of data that may refresh your knowledge. In terms of accuracy, the accuracy of GPS for civilian use is less than 10 meters, and the accuracy of the military satellite navigation system is 0.3 meters. China's Beidou navigation system has a timing accuracy of less than 10 meters in land, sea, and air, and a speed measurement accuracy of less than 0.2 meters. In this sense, China's Beidou navigation system, after gradually improving, has begun to pose a threat to the U.S. GPS navigation system. What's more, Beidou's satellites were observed more frequently than GPS satellites in most parts of the world. Beidou already has more satellites in orbit than U.S. GPS, 35 vs. 31, and 63 spy satellites, the U.S. has over 100, both of which mean that China's ability to both detect and track from space and guide missiles to any detected target is quite good. As an integral part of everyday life, GPS is nearly ubiquitous in the modern economy. The system is also an indispensable asset to U.S. forces at home and deployed around the globe. It provides a substantial military advantage and has been integrated into virtually every facet of military operations. Being overtaken by Beidou could have potentially enormous implications for both high-tech industry and national security. Moreover, Beidou provides full autonomy to China in position and navigation services for ground, sea, and air transportation means globally. Widespread integration of Beidou across the Belt and Road ostensibly ends a member nation's reliance on the American military-run GPS network. Beidou is consistently referenced as the biggest aerospace program that China has ever undertaken. For the past 2.5 years alone, more than 300,000 scientists and engineers from more than 400 research institutions and corporations were involved in the program. GPS, GLONASS, Russia, and Galileo, EU, mainly act as beacons, beaming out signals picked up by billions of devices using them to determine their precise position on Earth. But Beidou is a two-way communication system, which is different from the other three GPS. According to China's state broadcaster CCTV, Beidou knows where you are through and tells others where you are through the system. This characteristic is helpful for fishing boats, buses, field staff, and rescuers that wish to send messages and inform of their locations. People trapped in a mountain without a cell phone signal can send a message of up to 1,200 Chinese characters to a Beidou satellite to get rescued. In comparison, GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo only send signals from satellites to receivers and have no idea of who and where the receivers are. Though this particular function provides convenience in some cases, it is considered a flaw by some people. As well as the intrinsic disadvantage that two-way transmission compromises accuracy and takes up wider bandwidth, it raises security concerns. For example, Taiwan's Ministry of Science and Technology recommended that national defense agencies monitor signals transmitted by Beidou. 
It may track users by deploying malware on the enabled chip and sharing information through navigation signals or messaging. After learning the battle between Beidou and GPS in the military field, now let's take a look at Beidou's help in other fields of China. In fact, China's Beidou system is achieving in-depth integration with various industries. In the agricultural sector, Beidou-related deep soil loosening machines, as well as drones for plant protection and seed sowing, can be remotely controlled and managed. In the forestry sector, Beidou terminal products can assist forest rangers and fire guards to patrol forests and check their routes. The navigation system has also been applied in other fields, including dam deformation monitoring, the establishment of management and monitoring platforms for the transportation of construction debris in urban areas and measurement of the height of Mount Komolangma, among others. Statistics suggest that there were more than 1 billion terminal devices with the Beidou Positioning Service by the end of 2021. Moreover, the Beidou has achieved a comprehensive breakthrough in mass consumption represented by its extensive application in smartphones and smart wearable devices. The world's major chipmakers, including component providers for smartphones, can provide products that widely support the Beidou. Beidou ground-based augmentation messaging has been applied in smartphones, with meter-level positioning capabilities. In 2021, the number of China-made smartphone shipments with Beidou application support reached 324 million, accounting for 94.5% of the country's total that very year. The Beidou's high-precision positioning and timing services had been used over 100 billion times per month as of March 2022, of which the monthly requests for the system's acceleration auxiliary positioning service had exceeded 60 billion, and that for its real-time high-precision positioning services with centimeter-level accuracy and submeter-level accuracy had surpassed 48 billion. At present, the Beidou's acceleration auxiliary positioning service has been embedded in almost every China's homemade smartphone. The Beidou is employed to provide precise positioning and timing services for all kinds of intelligent machines, from automobiles, drones, shared bikes and buses, to road infrastructure facilities, and to monitoring equipment of bridges and mines. The system has achieved integration across industries and regions, seeing thriving applications such as intelligent vehicle infrastructure cooperative systems and unmanned delivery, among others. By 2035, China will build a more ubiquitous, integrated and intelligent comprehensive national PNT system centered on the Beidou to provide core support for the development of intelligent and unmanned systems. By then, the Beidou will better serve users from across the world and benefit all of mankind by providing global users with full coverage and highly reliable PN2 services whether indoors or outdoors, and whether in the deep sea or in deep space. All in all, the rise of the Beidou system is not simply positioning service in competition with the U.S., but also a strategic challenge for the U.S. selective availability technology which introduced intentional error into non-military GPS receivers to retain the best accuracy for military use is not a cause of superiority for the U.S. since the existence of the other GPSs especially Beidou. Along with 5G, the system is called by Beijing the two pillars of a great power. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.